So I just thought I would make a video where I try and show you guys how to fix every error with PKGJ. If you're not sure what this app is, it's basically like a free store for PS Vita. You can get PSP games, PS Vita games, and PS1 games, and you can get DLC for all of those games. It's really good, but there are quite a few different types of errors that you can actually get for it. So I thought I'd make a video where I try and show you guys how to fix most of them. Um, this video will mainly show how to fix games which aren't showing or not downloading. So maybe you try and download a game and it doesn't work, or maybe you've downloaded a game and it's just not displaying anywhere. So yeah, basically what you want to do is you want to have Auto Plugin installed. If you do not have Auto Plugin, it's definitely one of the best PS Vita homebrew apps I know. It lets you get loads of plugins in basically one click. So just go and launch up Auto Plugin if you have it. If you do not have it, there is a video on how to get it on my channel. But I'm just going to go and start this up and I will show you guys what plugins you need to get to make sure Adrenaline is working and to make sure there are no errors. So I'd recommend just getting all of these plugins anyway. There's five of them, four of them are definitely recommended and one of them is up to you. So we're going to go on plugins for PS Vita and press X. We're going to go to install plugins and press X. And basically what you want to do first is select your UXO or your URO. Wherever you have got your apps on, you can use left and right to switch or you can just press one of them. But yeah, choose whichever one where your tie folder is and your config file is. Mine are on my URO, so I'm going to choose this one, and we need to find these certain apps. The first app we need to find to get the games working is the NONP DRM. If you have this, um, if you don't have this and you try and run a game, it's just not going to work. Now there are two versions of it. There's the official flows version and the unofficial mod by Lman. It's up to you which one you get. Um, one of them version 1.2, one's version 1.4. I'm going to get the unofficial mod version. So what you can do is press X on this please wait and there you go it would have been installed I've already got all of these but I'm just going to overwrite them the next one is no PSM DRM this is basically the same thing but this is for post PlayStation mobile games so you can get this if you want um, I don't actually play these anymore so you don't really have to get it that is an optional one if you want this and those games aren't working then you can just go ahead and install that next one we're looking for is the PSM patch so um, that is this one right here now what PSM patch does it basically lets you um, module game so you can load PSM Homebrew, definitely a must have, so press X on this, wait for it to install, there you go, it's been installed. Next one is the ReFood plugin, now look, what this one does is basically lets your games run, um, so let's say I have a 3.69 game and I'm on 3.65 firmware, I will be able to run it on there without any problems, so we're going to go ahead and grab this as well, press X on it, wait for it to be installed in one second, and there you go. Okay, so the next one we need is Repatch. Now, I think I used this one in a video recently. Um, this plugin can be used to patch games, like language pack, patch games and stuff like that. It's a useful plugin to have. So we're going to get this. We're going to press X, wait for it to be installed, and there you go. And there you go. That is all of the plugins. So once we've got these, you want to press Start. It's going, going to say your PSV to real restart. Press X for OK, and then just wait for it to restart. Now once it restarts, um, you're going to want to launch your custom firmware again. I use Hencore on my PS Vita because this one is a 3.65. But if you use um, Trinity or anything like that, you just want to go and run it. Or maybe you have it permanent on Enso, then you're completely fine as well. Okay, so once we've done that, you actually want to go and open up a Vita shell. We need to refresh our database. This will fix your games if they're not displaying. And it's always a good idea to do this anyway. Sometimes I've refreshed the database and it's actually just shown up random apps that have been missing for ages so just press triangle when you're on the home screen and you want to go to refresh live area i mean live area not database so press x on this press x and for okay and it's actually just going to refresh the live area so as you can see it refreshes zero items if there are any games which are hidden what it's going to do is it's going to refresh them and it's going to display them there and then there you go they are pretty much all the fixes this will fix games not showing games not downloading um games which start up and you get an error and games which won't work on um, your newer firmware so pretty much four or five fixes that this will actually fix pretty useful i think they're the most common issues i know downloading games and games not showing is very common so hopefully this will actually fix it and there you go that's pretty much it for this video if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one